This is why we seek out walls for our own, for ourselves, and keep doing graffiti and, and, and hit hoardings um, on roadsides. So I'm not a big fan of the legal space because, you know, with monks pioneering it back in 2000, mm. we've seen that it doesn't really work. It's not what graffiti writers want. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It doesn't serve the need. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm all for, you know, new people trying out and everyone's got to start somewhere. Mm. You know, it's all good, but we should have a little more... Graffiti should have a, a more of a spotlight. Mm. Do you feel me? So... What, in its, in its natural habitats? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, just in, um, to the general public mm. and show graffiti to its best, in its best, in its richest form. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. We're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Coward podcast. Is this your first time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're in the shadows for the most part, you know, just painting walls. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah microphone control. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast live and direct. Not central London for a change. All right. Keep your peepers on this. Get yourselves ready for the upcoming Hoddle Wars. It's time to graph punks up and get up with some NFT gaming. Also, big shout out to Chief Rocker Gear from streets to stage. Chief Rocker is the streetwear of champions. Big shout out to the sharers and carers, people who have been clocking us, supporting us, and chairing us from the jump. Uh, and of course, anyone's got the Television app, free download iPhone, Android for all your sport in art, street culture, and more. We are in Leeds right now. <laughs> we're all roads leaded to, and we're in uh, we're in the city of Leeds Museum of all places, where they're having this uh, amazing exhibition of all hip hop that has passed through and present in Leeds from back in the day to now. Uh, Graffiti's most definitely in the house. So I thought, what better time than to uh, get one of uh, Leeds's most prolifics? Um, you guys may not know of him down south, but up here he is extremely uh, relevant in the scheme of things. He goes by the name of Hyro. How are you, my brother? Peace, peace. You good, yeah? Yeah, I'm blessed, bro. I Thank do feel you. like it's almost like a getting to know. The, I mean, you know, we're in, we're in what is the definitive museum of hip-hop up north here. Um, and for you yeah. to be here and us talking, it's a perfect opportunity to make full introductions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> it's, um, thank you for having me on. No, my I pleasure, appreciate man. you. Um, how's it been? How you, how's it going at the moment up in Leeds? What's happening? Um, well, with the museum opening, there's a lot of traffic coming through here. So, um, as you can see, the train's battered. Um, yeah, this is a know. train, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> rightly so. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. Um, we're just trying to keep, keep keeps pushing the scene, mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. You know. How long have you been painting for? How, when did it all begin? What's the Shh. what's the story, Hyro? Um, monks put a can in my hand. Big up monk, hold tight monk. <laughs> yeah, hold tight. Um, 99, 98. So, yeah, 20, 25 years. 25 years in the 20 game. years. I guess you can't count the first 10. It's kind of toy level. You're really? still getting to know shit. To swear? You can swear. You can do it on <laughs> okay. your podcast, my brother. <laughs> okay. We'll put censorship on the shit. We're good. S still getting to know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, just... It's been painting walls. What's been the drive? What's been the drive to... Because, you know, when I think of Leeds, I mean, the hip-hop, uh, from a musical aspect, has always been prevalent. Um, yeah, very much so. Um, that's where that's my background. We grew up with my deep, my brother DJing, putting speakers to the window and DJing for the, for the estate on cardboard, wow. back, you know, back in the day. Um, so, and record labels that we, you know, that were pioneered in the city. Um, yeah, there's... A, a definite um, affinity to b-boying, to emceeing, to all of that. Does that come within the culture of Leeds? Because it's got, obviously most air cities do, you know, cover all aspects, but this seems to be incubated really well over here. Mm, no, nah, to be fair, it's all splintered off, so that each element and culture within their own right, so it's kind of separate. But, you know, events at the museum and um, stuff that we've been doing kind of bring that together mm. and mix it all up. So who was uh, who was writing of his time when you were getting it? I mean, we're talking about like late nineties. Yeah, um, shout out NKA, big time. Um, Wicked. They're not NKA up in the museum, but, you know. We didn't get the stuff in time. But, I heard, yeah, you know, yeah. Much love and respect. It mm -hmm. was uh, NKA, 
Um, guys like Slobs, um, Bulky, uh, Ogre, um, and then we had TPM, which is which set the standard. It was it was a real good time. Um, yeah, they pushed production walls, and were known internationally as well, which was really you know before the internet, it was it was major. Let's get into it because this was all pre-internet business. I know what you're saying about the fractioning of of the elements um, of hip hop and the wider street culture because that's what the internet did. It fractioned it off so that they were allowed to blossom in their own lanes. Yeah. Um, but this was before internet. This is way before any of that. You know, getting up meant actually getting up a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you had to see it in the flesh or, fo- you know, photos that were passed around. Yeah, yeah. Um, or actually get out of your city and, and go and see these walls. What was it about Graf that... What, why leans, Why did you lean to that? I was always into art and I liked letters, but um, having a can in my hand just felt like the best medium. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, I kind of, I've been addicted ever since, you, you could say. Um, yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. It just felt smooth, you know, to paint at a, a bigger scale and allow to make mistakes mm-hmm. and be more expressive. Um, yeah. Explain about the making more mistakes. You mean from a practical point of view? Yeah. So yeah, you could make a mistake on the wall, mm. and because of the fle- because of the manipulation of the letters, nobody else would know it's wrong. Mm. If that makes sense. So mm. you know, develop style mm. by making mistakes. Mm. Do you think there's? Do you think <clears throat> there's imposed rules in graph? Like, you, I'm sure there is for up up here as there is for down. Some you know, all all uh, there, there's a protocol, isn't there? Um, yeah, a tradition, I guess yeah. we call it. Um, yeah, just I guess it's etiquette and, and keep shit civil so there's no beef. Mm. <laughs> you know, beef. <laughs> you get beef up here all the time, really. Uh, not with me. Um, and you seem like a mild mellow chap. I don't think you'd uh, cause any, any trouble. I'll cause trouble, <laughs> monk. Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cause trouble. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm in my own lane, just yeah. Enjoying what I do and, and, and yeah, mm. seeing st- stuff thrive. I like collabing with artists, you know. Um, so I have a collaborative project with a guy in Manchester called Tets. Tex. Tets, T E T S. Big up Tets, hold tight. Manchester Big crew, up. come on, Manny. Yeah, so, so yeah, it's keeping me busy at the moment. What I love about um, the northern quarters is like how closely connected every city is, you know. London just feels like so vacuous all enclosed and you know it takes a little while to get out of the into zone seven <laughs> you know what i mean but the moment you're in it's zones. like everything's interconnected and there's a real united you know uh almost like a fault line of different people working with each other in different cities yeah yeah up here well uh, i don't watch nobody else i guess so it's kind of what i do i'd, I'd happily go to sheffield Liverpool, Manchester, and, and just connect with people and, mm. you know, yeah, paint. Paint, paint, paint. What's the, what's, the Hall of, what's the Hall of Fame saying around here? Uh, sadly, there is none. What? Sadly, everything's turned to a legal wall space. So there's legal wall rules that have been adopted. So there's the sewers, um, which is in... I shouldn't have said the location. It's okay, we can edit that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mind your business, you can find out yourself. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, th- things don't stay long or respected enough to stay. So you know, the etiquette with legal walls is have fun and just practice and go over anything, anytime. Mm. Which you know, when you see good stuff, you want to let it breathe. Let it breathe know? for at least a month or two. You let it breathe, yeah, and and, and respect it. But is that, that a, seems is that to be a, lost is, now. Yeah, is that a, is that um, it's a symptom of that freedom of being able to put up pieces within the lap. there's no there's no moderating of quality or standard is there no no how's so, that how's that sit with you because are you cause listen, for those who don't, to be very quick just to, as a caveat to that because there, there definitely is a style to your your graph like seismic and you can go one extreme to the other you can go hardcore you can go like Illustrative, you go yeah. real vast, don't you? So yeah. there is this. You walk both lines, don't you? Yeah. Um, notice why we seek out walls for our own, for ourselves, and keep doing graffiti and 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 hit hardings um, mm. on roadsides. 
So I'm not a big fan of the legal space because, you know, with Monks pioneering it back in 2000, mm. we've seen that it doesn't really work. It's not what graffiti writers want. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It doesn't serve the need. No. So, I mean, I'm all for, you know, new people trying out and everyone's got to start somewhere. Mm. You know, it's all good, but we should have a little more... Graffiti should have a, a more of a spotlight. Mm. Do you feel me? So... What, in its, in its natural habitat? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, just in, um, to the general public mm. and show graffiti to its best, in its best, in its richest form, yeah. you know. Define that. Um, just collaborative efforts, you know, production efforts put into backgrounds, do the wall from front to back, mm. do you know what I mean? And, and making it all look really cohesive mm. and just showing that the talent is, you know, street art has come from. Mm. Graffiti. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And graffiti is kind of frowned upon still to a degree, you know, with tagging and, and whatnot. So, yeah, I think graffiti deserves a better spotlight, you know, for, for masterpieces and, and production production walls. Masterpieces are getting lost. Bio Tats Crew, you know, Tats Crew as a whole, like mm. when I think of them or VOP, you know, these levels of production where they'd actually just be like a writer just dealing with backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah, and and if it takes you three, four days to complete, you know, and it takes, you know, four to eight guys to finish and complete it, it, it needs to be respected and, you know, yeah. and seen. Yeah. You know? ILC as well, another Nottingham-based crew, ILC. Um, I think there's more championing of that up uh, in the north of England than there is the south. Um, do you? Yeah, I do. I think... There isn't enough productions going on like that in, in London and in the South. Or maybe Bristol. I mean, that, but. I mean, it's a disposable art form. So, you know, mm. it's a revolving door, constantly changing, mm. and the landscape's always changing. So, yeah, I'm happy to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Part, of the, part of the scene and paving the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your inspirations? Like, where do you get a lot of your kind of energy to go out and paint? Because, let's put it, put it more in, in, a, in a direction. Nowadays, everything is at your disposal, whether it's the colours, the cans and everything. You know, so there used to be this restriction creativity thing mm. where it'd be like, well, you know, what, what have we got just with these colours? What have we got just with this brand? What have we racked today? Or what, you know what I mean? It was really easy for people to kind of add the 30% of inspiration to really pull something off. Yeah. What inspires you? Um culture i like seeing ethnicity on the wall um so i like painting and exploring exploring that um the crossover with the digital and real life i like to try to mirror that somewhat um yeah and obviously the japanese stuff that's you know manga anime all of that yeah crazy. all of that um crazy. shogun assassin yeah. Anyway. Are you big on that, yeah? Yeah, Kung Fu or not, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to me about the trains. <laughs> the trains get done around here? Um, yes, they do. Yeah? Yeah. In York, we see a lot of freights. There's a couple of layups in Leeds that get hit. Mm. Um, but that's not what I do. No, it's not I, what you do. Yeah, I teach workshops and whatnot. So. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to get anyone in trouble right now. <laughs> but yeah, we've seen... Respect we've seen. to all the train writers and, yeah. and whatnot, yeah. Love, yeah, yeah. man. I, it's, it's, it's part of the original essence of what graffiti is, yeah. you know, of, of from hip hop, yeah. going and painting trains. So, yeah. you yeah. know, hats off, salute to, the, to those guys that mm. do that still. But in the same respect, you must have seen and been part of some crazy shenanigans, some crazy stories. I mean, it's all different oh, yeah, in different cities, sure. right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Tell me some <laughs> stories. Get, let's get into some downright dirty Leeds destructive derby. Oh. Let's go. Uh, Come on. You put me on the spot. Do, um, do you want pixelation? <laughs> <laughs> do we need to put pixelation on this face? Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's... We've, we've led a colourful life, should yeah. I say, you know. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe Monks wants the answer to, you know, some <laughs> of that vigilante type. I mean, there was, there's one story. It was, it's, it's not grime. It's when two crews were beefing back in the day um, with Monks' guidance and intervention because it was getting silly. Mm. Like, 
It was getting crazy. It was getting out of hand. So, really? yeah, yeah. so one boy got hurt. Um, and Monks came together and, and brought me into the project to get them both sitting down on the same table, yeah. you know, with, with such animosity to be involved in a video shoot to promote a new single that was Leeds based. So that was pretty um, mind blowing that we got them to put down, like, like I was saying, people were getting hurt um, and hoods were getting involved and extended families. So. Yeah, it was a beautiful thing that we could get these guys together and paint a production and kind of settle the beef. That's mad that, yo, how on earth do you get two crews to sit down and chill like that? It's, uh, <laughs> how on earth do you ever get to that point? It where... happened, I can testify to that, but yeah, that's a good question. The music that's a video. a good question, yeah. I guess, I think, I think the distraction was to, for the music, again, being involved, you know, if they have a love for hip hop and music and progression, mm. then Monks offered them an opportunity. It was pretty golden, to yeah, be yeah. fair, yeah, to yeah. be, again, before the internet, to be, you know, Internet's have a bit yeah. of fame, you know, and have their work exposed to a bigger audience. Mm. So I think the appeal of that was just like, forget all whatever issues we had. Do you think that's the primary goal for uh, writers? Not, not the legal types, but yeah, but to be seen. Yeah, I think everybody wants to be seen or heard as much as, as a don't human want to, admit it, to, kind of to, to some degree. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Mm. As much um, as they don't want to, they kind of do. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't say. Uh, I don't know. That's not my drive. I just, we just paint. Mm. Yeah. How often are you out painting? Frequently. Really? Yeah. 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 And you earn a living off it? Um, yes, but I don't rely on that living. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Takes a level of uh, pedigree to get to that, that next phase of uh, craft, in it, where you're earning like that? Yeah, I think, I think, no. No? No, cowboys are coming in and, and spraying a can for two minutes and next thing we're doing murals. Mm. You know, everything's mural driven, mm. so. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there's a lot of competition. There's really? a lot of people, a lot of bars. It's trendy to be to have a bit of graph in your toilet, so, you know, that type of stuff. Is it challenging? Does it challenge you <clears throat> that, that there's this influx, this new wave, and they're not, they're not uh, reflecting on the, 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 the journey of the rest of the scene? Uh, it conflicts a little bit, but it's, it's not my path. No. So, you know, so I kind of just observe it yeah. and let it be, you know, yeah. It doesn't, it, uh, maybe a light eye roll in when you see it, but nothing too deep. Nah, yeah, nothing too deep. I mean, there was somebody spraying spray paint in a brush and applying the paint to the wall just recently online. And there was a lot of, it got a lot of backlash. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> yeah I thought it was a little, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. interesting, but- um, But it takes away the essence, each doesn't to it? Their own. But it takes away the essence. Yes, yeah, well it's not. Yeah, you're mm. right, it does definitely. Um, that's why it's important to kind of keep, you know, some traditions and, and connect with people that are on the same, yeah. same vibe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and steady keep, keep pushing. Yeah, keep on pushing. What's the you future, my brother? What's the, the truth? What's the, what's the future? <clears throat> um, more walls. We've got some merch coming with the Namida project. Um, yeah, some goodies with T-shirts. More walls. Mm. We're looking at gallery space because, again, we were saying graffiti wants to be um, shine the light on it. Mm. I'm not so sure about this new contemporary. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like... Well, you're trying to <coughs> you know, tread delicately. Yeah. Something. Yeah, and just see if graffiti can stand in a gallery in its own right for, mm. for what it is. Yeah. Not, not adapting to, to, uh, to monkeys, the monkey, stuff. Monkeys are holding forth. Oh, Here we go. Is this anything to do with you, sir? Yes. <laughs> this is Jeez, one of two designs. <laughs> one of two designs, and yeah. Tets. There you go, boom. See that manga coming through like that. And then you got the slaps as well. Yes. Yeah, standard. It's all go. Yeah. So, so yeah, we got over it. We got a lot of stickers to slap, yeah. slap up. Yeah. So, yeah, just, just staying, keep creating. Mm, yeah. <laughs> as a human, just keep creating and um, enjoying what mm. I do. To what end? 
um, until the wheels fall off, <laughs> until the lungs give out, mm. you know. Um, I don't think I'll ever stop painting unless I'm forced to. Mm. And you ain't been forced to yet? No. no. <laughs> but I think it's human nature to want to write on a wall, you know. Yeah. You give, a, you give any, anyone a pen or a piece of chalk and they're going to hit a surface. Yeah. That's how we know we're, who came before us. Yeah. Keeps mm. you alive. Mm. It's a civilised <laughs> civilized yeah. behaviour. Do you think it's a case that if you give anyone the opportunity to <clears throat> put something on the wall, no matter what medium it is, do you think it'll give them a bit more of a fresher perspective on the essence of graffiti and what it actually, the feel of what it does to people that do paint? I think so, yeah. Uh, but I think in society you've got different types of people, you yeah. know, so it's not for everybody. Uh, but, but, you know, yeah, definitely I agree. Yeah, that's the ticket. Right, we're out like that. Big up, Iroh. Thanks so much, brother. Yes, we're, we're, we're in the we're in we're in the museum right now. I mean, we've got people yes, in all these windows watching us as we're doing. This was not an easy ride, <laughs> um, as you can tell by the uh, uh, the train itself. It's just you know it's it's gone through the motions. So have we thanks so much for joining us, people. You know it is. Hiro Leeds Leeds City Museum. We're here. Big shout out to Monk inside the place. Look, we're out like he was out of fashion, all right? Absolutely. Yeah, crime don't pay. Neither today. You stay lucky, people. Till next time. Peace. <laughs> Yeah, the one! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>